itu. just got dropped off by the shuttle at the train station from Malden Airport. I don't really know which train I'm meant to get to get into Central Warsaw. Um, so far I've just been following everyone else. I got a ticket. I hope it gets me into Central Warsaw. I'm not sure but yeah I don't know. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I've just been following people but now everyone's going different directions so I don't know who to follow. I didn't think that coming to Poland would be the opportunity to practice my Spanish but I was just reading on the platform waiting for the train and a man comes up to me and asks if I speak Spanish. I'm like, un poco and he's asking me like what train to take to get to Central and I couldn't really understand everything he was saying. I was trying to explain but I, I hopefully I told him the right thing. I have finally arrived at Central Station on my way to find some vegan food. I ended up having to, I got yelled at to get to the right train because I was on the wrong platform. So hopefully the guy who was asking me for help in Spanish ended up on that train. I feel really bad for misleading him. Now I'm fueled to walk to the hostel. It's about a 40 minute walk. So I have energy, woo. I got a chocolate mousse to take away to have as a treat once I'm settled in at the hostel. So looking forward to taking a shower and enjoying some dessert. into the hostel it seems pretty nice so yeah I'm gonna take a shower it's Wednesday morning I'm just wandering around the old town I feel like every European city I come to, I'm just like, wow, the architecture is so cool. Very easily impressed. for a coffee shop that was my friend's recommendation. I'm just trying to hit all her recommendations. This bathroom is like it's rainforest cafe themed. I found out that the Royal Castle has free entry on Wednesdays. So I am back in the old town and I'm going to go to another museum. I just finished at the Royal Castle. I'm sitting on a bench in the old town. Um, yeah, it's like 4.30. I don't really know what to do with myself. I always I feel like I always like get up and go so early and I'm like rushing around sort of when I'm traveling and then it hits like this time of day before dinner where I'm like I don't really know what to do yeah I might just sit and read for a little bit honestly <laughs> This is the courthouse and it really gives me the vibes of the erudite headquarters in Divergent we got the dumplings, so excited. Those dumplings were so good. Mwah, chef's kiss. 
I'm heading back to the hostel. I might go to, they're doing an event. I might go to that. I'm not entirely sure, we'll see how I feel. <laughs> Uh, so we may or may not have dominated karaoke. We did. We Ooh. actually did. We were like the best ones and the only ones. That's why we were the we best We went up ones. three times. Everyone in there yeah. loved us. <laughs> yeah, no, we are leaving. <laughs> I just checked out of the hostel. Ooh, I'm already tired from carrying my big backpack, but yeah, I'm heading to the station. I didn't realize that to get into the toilets at McDonald's, you need to use the code printed on your receipt. So I was struggling to find my receipt and then a man comes out of the bathroom and he's like, wait, I'll help you. And he puts his code in for me. Faith and humanity restored. That was just really nice. I'm on the train. I don't know if it's assigned seating because my ticket is in Polish. Um, there was a number, 93. I'm sitting in that seat. I don't know if it was the seat number. I looked it up and I don't really know what it means. But I checked into my hostel, um, the water stopped working, I tried to wash my hands but nothing was coming out of the faucet so that's interesting, don't really know what to do, um, yeah I'm just gonna walk around now. I asked if I could book another night, but they didn't have any availability, so I had to find another place. Um, but yeah, then I ended up just trying to book the rest of my trip, or at least the next few days, I because I didn't know where I was going to go after Krakow. So I booked my train to Prague, and then I spent some time trying to figure out the best hostel to stay in there. So yeah, but now that I have my next few days sorted out, I'm feeling better. It's a little after 8 in the morning. I checked out of the hostel. I'm just storing my bags there. And last night I ended up booking a guided tour to Auschwitz for today. So I'm going to do that. Uh, right now I'm just exploring Krakow, just walking around. I'm in my new hostel now. I just got back from the Auschwitz tour. Um, it was really good, definitely very hard, very heavy. Yeah, I stopped and got some beetroot soup. I'm gonna have that with my leftover from yesterday. While I was walking to like to get the soup, this lady on the street, she just comes up and she like hits me, like sort of like my bag, sort of my back, like my lower back. And I was like really freaked out and there was someone else walking and they like sort of ran away and I like I was right in front of the the therapy shop for the soup and I just like I ran in there and I was like oh my god. This is the soup. I was expecting it to be thicker, but I really like it. It's a little after 7 in the morning. I just checked out of the hostel. Now I'm heading to the bus station. 
I have a long travel day ahead. It's like a two and a half hour bus ride and then a three hour train ride to get to Prague. I just got off the bus in Ostrava, headed to Prague. Um, while I was getting my backpack from under the bus, I totally like dropped it and fell and this man caught me and then he he put my backpack on for me. It was really awkward, but nice, I guess. I've been just walking around the old town. I checked into the hostel. It's really nice. Yeah, it was raining a little bit and it got really windy. I was like, oh no. I like it here so far. I like the architecture. Everything's really ornate. It sort of reminds me of Disney World, which I know makes me sound like a dumb tourist, but it does. Walking down the narrowest street in Prague, there is a traffic light to go down it. I just got back to the hostel. I picked up some stuff for dinner, little, got some oyster mushrooms, tofu, some spinach, and a pre-prepared bulgur salad because I'm just craving some vegetables. So let's see what I can chef up. This is the concoction. Not very pretty, but I'm excited. I am about to take a shower. It's about 11. Um, I'm pretty tired. And I ended up playing Uno in the common area with some people. Um, one French guy who was pretty into it. <laughs> um, I thought I knew how to play Uno, but it turns out I didn't. I lost every round, so better luck next time, I guess. Sunday morning, walking to the monastery slash library. Uh, I heard that Prague was hilly, but this hill is really getting to me. It's a struggle. As you can see, it's raining. Thankfully, I brought my umbrella today because I checked the forecast. Um, yeah, it's almost five. I'm pretty tired from a lot, all this walking, so I think I'm just gonna go chill at the hostel. Going on Pornhub. Yeah, Hi, sure. Mom, I'm on the delay. artistic medium. <laughs> yes. Hi, Mom, I'm on the delay. Wait, do we have to like say to something? Paid. No, you don't have to. But I say. No, you don't, oh. don't talk, because then oh. you're just an extra, so I don't have to pay. to Berlin. It's a four and a half hour journey, so it should be fun. I have just got off the bus in Berlin. I am now going to attempt to take the U-Bahn train to the hostel. There are train strikes today, so it's gonna take a little longer than usual, I think. Almost at the hostel, and it started snowing. Just being in the bathroom, I can tell this is a nice hostel. Like, check out this vanity situation. Flowers, this is bougie. 
I had to come to Little in its mother country to get some bananas as well as a few fun treats. You don't know how excited I am to try these. I just had the best hostel shower of my life. Like the water pressure was so high and it got nice and hot. The last hostel you had to keep pressing a button every 10 seconds so it didn't shut off. So this was a very luxurious experience. It is Tuesday morning. I am on my way to do some sightseeing. I'm gonna head to the Berlin Wall Memorial. Uh, last night I met some people in the common room and we ended up drinking some Slivovice, which is a Czech liquor that I thought was vodka that a guy at the hostel in Prague gave to me when he was leaving. So that was fun. But yeah, now I'm ready to do a lot of touristy Berlin things. Happy that the sun is shining. There is no snow in the forecast, so that is good. I'm just walking around the museum island. I went to the Berlin Wall Memorial and the Topography of Terror Museum. Both were very informative. I also saw the memorial for murdered Jews during the Holocaust. So yeah, I feel like I'm getting a lot of insight into the history of Berlin. I just went to a free exhibition at this art space and yeah, I've just been walking around the Kreuzberg neighborhood and it's really nice. It's so beautiful. It's very peaceful and I love the buildings. Um, yeah, so far I am really liking Berlin. I could definitely see myself living here. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's cool. So many vegan options. I love it. Yeah, it's cold but pleasant. I am back at another restaurant that I saw on Mina Rome's Instagram. Super excited. It's like a falafel bowl with peanut sauce. Headed back to the hostel now. Dinner was amazing, so delicious. And I decided to pop into the vegan grocery store on the way back. I picked up a few treats. But yeah, I feel like Germany is really ahead in the vegan game. There are just so many exciting products there. It is Wednesday. My plan is to just explore some cool neighborhoods, maybe go to a museum, but I don't really have anything on my bucket list. So I'm just gonna explore. But yeah, last night in the common room, I met someone and we found out that we live like five minute walk away from each other back home in Rhode Island. So that was pretty crazy. I feel like every time I come to a hostel, or not every hostel, but you, see, you always meet people who like have, who are connected to you in some way.
I've had one in so long. It tastes really good. Some vegan pad thai. Yum. Yeah, they would say that shit. Three, two, one. Rolling. Cheers. <laughs> Get me in there. I don't no. no, don't worry, you're not. You had your shot. <laughs> All right, do something cool. Right. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. It's a video. <laughs> Just cool. It is Thursday. It is nice and warm out. I am currently exploring the East Side Gallery, which is a long stretch of the Berlin Wall that was painted over with, by lots of artists. It is really beautiful, I definitely recommend visiting. Um, yeah, I'm just walking around a bit and in the afternoon I have a bus to Hamburg. came back to the hostel to get my bags and I might cry because my leftover pad thai got thrown away. I checked into the hostel, now I'm heading to dinner. Not loving the hostel vibes, it feels very corporate. Didn't have great reviews, I, I knew it going in, but it's okay, it's only two nights, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time there. Yeah, it's definitely like the other hostels had a very cozy like communal vibe. This is just very, bland and yeah more like hotel like like chain hotel vibes i am on a mission to get some good food i wasn't originally planning on taking the metro or the the s whatever to get to dinner but the area around the hostel is kind of depressing it's very industrial so i thought i would come to a cooler neighborhood like more, maybe more touristy part. I am at a vegan Korean restaurant that I saw Mina Rome recommended, so of course I had to come, and Korean food sounded really good. Um, there's no space inside, uh, but there's outdoor seating in the street, and it's actually not super cold out, so I thought I'd sit outside. <laughs> shower i'm sitting in the common area and now it is time to try my burami balls matcha donut i'm so excited it's ASMR. Let's see. oh she still looks new i thought it would be like a little crushed from getting from berlin to hamburg but she looks pretty good all right let's do a little taste test mm. it's really nice there's like a cream inside. That's where like the real matcha flavor is. It's really good. I am grateful that I brought my umbrella because today is very rainy. Yesterday I didn't bring it to dinner because I thought it wasn't gonna rain, but it did. So I got very wet. But yeah, I'm just having a little leisurely rainy day stroll around Hamburg. I am just sitting in the cafe section of the grocery store. I saw for a little snack. Uh, yeah, I'm just walking around in the rain wet out there. I think I'm just gonna head to a cafe and chill out there. Um, yeah, I don't really know how much walking around I feel like doing. Um, but yeah, so far, Amber is nice. I like it. I love that there is a Barbie dream house in this bathroom.
most of the times when I go into a shop, I try to start speaking in German. Like I'll be like, hallo and bitte and ein. But then they'll ask me something in German and I'll just be like, what? And then they just start speaking English. I definitely, I am thankful to have English as my first language because it makes traveling a lot easier. And I still want to like try to learn basic things in other languages, but yeah, I just, that is something that is benefiting me and I am grateful for that. It was supposed to rain all day, but it has stopped now and it is lovely. I am walking through the park to get back to the hostel. Birds are chirping, there are flowers. It is quite pleasant. I got this mango lassi drink at the organic shop, so I'm gonna give it a go. I'm just sitting on a bench by this body of water, so I'm gonna see how this is. Mm, it's pretty good. Yeah, I haven't had a mango lassi in years since before I went vegan. Dinner is a leftover bibimbap. Really happy that it didn't get thrown away this time. Oh, yeah.